All right, guys. We just did an hour video. The uh, the visual for it was corrupted. So what we're gonna do is give you a little disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Um, Aldo came through. He's from the circus. Um, yeah, it just happened to fuck up, and we just want to apologize before. We will put the audio version of it on YouTube, so there'll be like a still frame of it. Um, other than that, it's kind of it's kind of just a fuck up on our end that we did te technical difficulty on it, and yeah, pretty much what we what happened right there. Yeah, so it's unfortunate. It was it was a good conversation. That's why we're not gonna just misuse or waste the conversation so we're just going to do audio no actual video of it but i promise there are some conversations in there that you will enjoy and you'll even get some insight about his background and everything so and i think he just you got anything to say again i said it in the audio verse in the audio version but i want to say it uh, to the camera i want to say thank you to roswell thank you to the town uh, it's, it's been nothing but amazing to us uh, during these hard times and I really hope that you enjoyed the live show that we did. That was all for you guys. Yeah, so thank you Roswell. Again, we do apologize, but please like, subscribe, <laughs> share, comment, and enjoy the audio version of our first podcast of Just Audio. So, catch y'all later. Later. Hey, What up, guys? Beard Bros Podcast. Don't forget, if you're new here, subscribe. If you're old here, well, you know what to do. Like, comment. I mean, everything else. Share with the homie. Uh, today's episode is uh, sponsored by not only the Beard Bros Podcast. Um, as but you... we do actually have a sponsor. Sorry. Oh, I know this is actually out of the blue. But... News alert. Uh, we did get a sponsor. Shout out to Clean House Sports Picks. We'll leave their link in the description to go follow them on Instagram. But just a little rundown. It is, okay, so are you ready to make some money? Our friends over at the Clean House uh, team have you covered. They offer daily, weekly, and monthly packages to help you win money betting on sports. So for all you betting addicts or just to, to make a little extra cash or something go follow them hit them up see how you guys could work something out um they tell you exactly what to bet on and that way you're not just guessing on what you think is going to work or what you think is going to actually win you some money um they make it easier so just so you know, when you go and you subscribe to one of their subscriptions, just at the at checkout, type in Beard Bros, and it'll get you a $5 discount on your package. So go uh, like their page, as well as go get some professional advice on betting on any type of sports and see how much money you can make. So... If you do got if you guys do use them, please uh, shout us out and shout them out and let the, let everybody know that you guys decided to go with them. Uh -huh. So that was actually breaking news. Forgot <laughs> about that till just now. I forgot about it too. But uh, as you know, last Friday we uh, went and did the circus. We have one of the performers here today. You want to introduce yourself, buddy? What up? Uh, I'm Aldo Portugal. Um, I'm the trapeze performer. I don't know if everyone saw that. The one who was on his head. Yeah, you were. Quite exciting. I do want to... Okay, so I want to jump into this. So we explained on the last podcast how we got to watch them perform before the actual Friday event. And there was this moment when he was doing the clown act with yeah. the the <laughs> trumpet and then the trombone and stuff. Yeah, we did the whole show. Okay, so he is running off stage and he, he kind of like... Explain what happened. Well, I do this uh, this part on the, on the clown thing where I kind of cry to everyone and I just make everyone wet. And when I was walking back uh, to the stage, I, I really don't know what happened. I was just giving the steps. And when I tried to give the next one, I feel like I couldn't move my knee like either, either frontward or backwards. So I thought, like, uh, I just stand there and, and went like trying to call somebody like what, what's going on what's going on what's happening because i actually have issues with my knees mm -hmm. i blow i blew my meniscus 
Oh, so wow. sometimes in the clown, he got a stocks. He gets stocks. Mm-hmm. Sorry for my English. I, I no, saw you're, you're, you're good, man. <laughs> you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose some subscribers after this. Nah, nah, <laughs> no, no, we're gain gonna gain some. some we're gonna gain some. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So I, I blew it out. Digo, um, I, he got a stock there, uh, and everyone already know what's going on with my knee. Mm-hmm. So the clown. I don't know if you noticed, but the clown didn't went out as a clown. He mm-hmm. took me out of the stage as a clown. Yeah. Right. So in the backstage, everyone was like, um, "Are you okay? Are you gonna be able to walk?" And I was, and I already know how to put it back in his place. So I was just doing my thing. Boom, a little boom, a little hip movement. And I was ready to go. Gosh. Yeah, so he goes and he kind of falls. And we're sitting there. We're all sitting there and we're like, is it a part of the act? And I didn't think so because he throws his mic off. And you're kind (laughs) of calling people. And I'm like, I mean, you end up going in the back curtain and whenever you walk out, you run or you're walking yeah. out with the gun thing and stuff. And I'm like, if he was acting, he got me because I didn't. I'm not think- that good. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty. It was pretty convincing. I was like, dang, he got us. I thought he was playing for a little bit. I was like, there's no way. And think he went back there, popped his knee. It was only like a couple minute, minutes. Couple minutes, bro. So he popped his knee, came back, and he was ready to perform. Yeah, he was so, ready to get it. it was that like, was man. impressive. I mean. I know people, you guys didn't see that part because we were actually waiting for that. No, for the, yeah. Yes, we were waiting for you to (laughs) fall over and call people over because we thought it was part of the act. Mm, Yeah. Like, actually, people ask me, uh, have you had any injury doing the trapeze? Have you ever fallen? Have you ever had something happen to you? And actually, I have never happened. Nothing has happened to me in the trapeze. I don't know if in the show when I fell, that was the second time that I have ever felt. And I've been doing that for eight years. So that's how long you've been in the circus. How old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 20. You're 20 years yeah, old. Yeah, but, but no, I'm I'm fifth generation in circus. What do so you mean? So, my my father was from circus. His father was from a circus. His father was from a circus. His father was from a circus, and his father was from a circus. So five generations worth of people in circuses. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so no wonder you're in the circus, man. Yeah, that I is kinda crazy. Like, I didn't choose it. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of chose you. Seems yeah. Like it, yeah. That's crazy, man. So pretty much you were brought up probably at least watching and being a part in some way yeah. of the circus. Yeah, I, I performed my first time that I performed. I was eight. I was doing the clown. What? Oh, you did the clown Yeah, then, I too. did the clown. I used to hate it. Really? For me, doing the clown, people laughing at me. I was like, why Why people do it? Like, you paint yourself, and then you put these ridiculous clothes, and you and people laugh at you on a stage. Why, why are you doing that? You know, I used to hate it. And as I grew up, I was like, damn, I know why you do it. You, are, you make people laugh. And they, actually, the, peop- the, the guy that everyone loves in the circus is a clown. Everyone goes for the clown. Either everyone that wants or a they're scared. The yeah, they're scared of the <laughs> people clown. are scared of clowns. That's what I don't understand I don't it. Don't because if we're being honest... All you females out there be wearing a bunch of makeup, and I'm not scared of y'all. Damn. So, no, I don't know. Some of them are scared. Probably much the same. <laughs> Just saying. No. Um. So you did the clown. When did you first try something like the trapeze or something like that? Oh, I remember like around eight, seven. They oh, they man. tried to put us in the flying trapeze. Okay. And no, I, I'm afraid of heights. Even now, I I don't like heights. Yeah, I, ugh, I hate it. That makes no yeah. sense, bro. You're up there about 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, in it's the like air. 30 plus feet, bro. I think you can ask most of the people that do high stuff are afraid of heights. Really? Yeah. But like in the stage, you can. I would feel fit it. in. <laughs> I think I would fit in. I'm good. That's yeah. crazy. So you started doing it at about eight years old. Yeah, the flying trapeze, and I used to cry. Why are you making me doing this? Well, I don't want to. Blah blah blah. Uh, and they, they put me down, right, from the flying trapeze. I, I didn't have it for it. And I started to do practicing hands balance, but I was really bad at it. I was really weak, and I didn't respect the guy that was uh, teaching me, mm-hmm. so they took me out of that one as well. And about when I turned 12, yeah, I, I remember this one very well. I, tu- I turned 12, and and my cousin that is the same age as me, he went into the and doing the globe. You know the motorcycles oh, at twelve, yeah. and I was super jealous. He's in a stage already. He's twelve. He's my age. He's even younger than me for a few months, right? And I was super jealous, so I took some courage and I went to my dad. I went like, 
I don't know, I don't know how to do anything, and it's your fault. You are not teaching me anything. Like a crying and like, angry at him. And he was like, mm. he kind of like, mm. he kind of like understand it. And he, that happened. And the next, and the next morning, he wakes me up early. And he takes me to one of the lorries, you know. And I, I, I thought to myself, this is a punishment for yelling at him, you know. And that's what I thought. But then we start moving things, moving things, and there was a, a old trapeze, all uh, um, rusty and horrible trapeze. Okay. And uh, he made me pull it out. He made me put it between some uh, sticks from the circus. Do you, do you remember oh, the okay. sticks? So I put the trapeze there, and he was like, this is what you are going to do. And he showed me. He, he did a hands balance, a uh, head, head stand on the trapeze. And my dad was like, I don't know, 40 or 30 years. And I was like, okay. And I used to hate that one as well. I was like, no, this is dumb. I, I didn't know that one because it's not a really popular performance. Have you, have I've you saw? I've never seen that. That's ever, what I mean. Like, the balancing one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one was sick. Because you're talking about the one where you're on your head and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And he put me that one and I haven't stopped doing it. Wow. Yeah. Dang, man. That is crazy. He's like, this is you. Yeah. He, But see, <laughs> he knew something because he been a part of circuses and circuses and circuses and for nobody to see that type of performance and then say, and then you step to him saying, hey, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I'm going to give you something that no one else is doing. You, yeah, like, doing the, huh? you like doing the little balancing? Uh, on the yeah. Little... Well, like I used to hate it because I never saw it before. So I thought people doesn't like this. That's why it's not in, in shows. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But right now when I'm in the, in the stage and I do a thing and I go, back, go down, sit again, looking at people. And I saw her re uh, them reactions. Oof, it's priceless. Yeah, I like that one. Probably yeah. one of the most. Like, that was. It's probably one of my favorites. Definitely. I like the guy that balanced too with the like the little sticks. That shit was sick too. Oh yeah, in the high wire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, 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 no. The one where he had uh, like the little. Oh, the, the hands balance guy. Yeah, the hand yeah that one is crazy. That one's pretty cool. That yeah. one's intense. Yeah. The one when he has the things that are like they bend. Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm yeah. like, damn, this guy <laughs> is crazy. Yeah, that one's crazy. Oh. So I want to ask you that because I'm assuming this is probably the first time you've ever performed without like fans, pretty much. Like yeah. we were there, and there was a few other people there. Yeah. But there, I mean, it, for needless to say, there was very little bit of people. Yeah. How did that affect you guys? either performing or maybe you guys are used to getting reactions. How was that? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, we know if, if people is enjoying the show mm -hmm. when they clap, when they laugh, or you look at them and they have a amazed face or something. Mm -hmm. So it was really weird. Actually, when we had the practice show, you know, without recording, mm -hmm. I was really nervous. I was shaking. I don't know if you noticed, but my legs were like, shaking on the trapeze no i no. mean <laughs> i was amazed so the last thing i was thinking is you were scared <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i was i was shaking and everything but when we did the actual live show uh -huh. i was super calm i don't know if because my mind already know that okay you are in the show it's like game time okay or or because we practice mm -hmm. but i was super calm man Oh no! It See, was weird to see no fans and y'all performing. It was kind of yeah. Uh, the, I think the guys that have uh, had the worst time or the hardest time was the clowns, was the clowns. because they work with them. You know, without yeah. the people, they can do their thing. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is true. It's just tough because like we like I wish we would have had one more run. I wish we would have practiced on Thursday. Yeah. Because then maybe we could have helped you guys like. You guys yeah. could have interacted with us and then vice versa, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, we actually wanted to do that. I told the guys, go uh, take him to the stage with you, like those guys. Or, or the, the girl that was there, uh, Sara. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Or take them. Uh, but I don't know if we were allowed to. See, know? that's kind of what they told us, too, was we weren't really allowed to interact. Yeah. Because we were even wanting you guys to come and, like, even go behind us and just yell at the crowd yeah. in the camera. Yeah. Just like, hey, and then go back to backstage. But everybody was kind of, like, against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that so. Is, it was weird. Like, we didn't know if we could or we couldn't do it, you know? Well, you should just let it. You should just came to us. We would have did it. We <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, we wouldn't have said no. I don't think we would have even been mad. We, cause that's what we wanted, you know, more reactions. Yeah, but totally. It, I, needless to say, it was um, it was new to all of us. Mm -hmm. 
Like, yeah, even to us. Yeah, like performing with no fans, us doing a live stream. Um, it was different. It was different, but man, how it, it was so exciting. Yeah. Like it was so much fun to see everybody just doing their thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like to ask, so you've been doing it, you'd say about eight years. Yeah. Your performance. Yeah. Where all do you guys, are? Oh, first question, it's Circus of Portugal. Are you guys actually from Portugal or how does that work? Uh, uh, my father has told me some stories. So I think the, the grandpa, 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 grandpa was from it. That's one of the stories okay. that, that I have heard of. And the other one is that uh, this priest had his son. Uh, yeah, priest, right? The guy in the church? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah All right. Yeah. Sorry for the English again. No, you're good. <laughs> so had, he, had his son and his son wanted to join the circus, right? But he, the priest didn't let him. So he was like, no, 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 you are not going to the circus. And before, that's how you, you used to uh, join the circus. You just, if you like it, you run out with them, right? Like in the 1800s or 1900s. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the priest had his son and whatever, and he joined one circus and he left with them. And the priest went for his son and took him out of the circus again, put him there a little time. And then a couple of years by happened and another circus went to the town and they, he did the same thing, went with them. And the priest went back and get his son. And another circus came to the town. And this time, the, fa- the, the, the priest didn't do anything. So that's wh- uh, the stories that I have heard. But no, we are not actually from Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, though. <laughs> yeah. well, so where are you actually from? Uh, we're Mexicans. Mexicans from yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Okay. And wow. you guys are all about, like, y'all are all family pretty much, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, like, where all do you do you... Do you usually resonate in Mexico? Do you do most of your shows there? Do you come to America do shows? Yeah. Do you travel the world? How mm-hmm. does that work? Uh, we used to just be in Mexico. Okay. But about six years, seven years ago, seven years ago, we kind of felt a little that we wanted different things, you mm-hmm. know, a little different vibes. So we went to Central America and we toured there for five years. But uh, Central America is like a, a little... Um, it's shorter, right? Mm-hmm. The, the the towns and everything. Yeah, they're very small. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. I don't mean the small towns. I mean like the whole country is it's small. Right, <laughs> right, right. So we had to change our show really often, oh. and that's that's hard to do, okay. you know. So we kind of like finish it. You know what I mean? We kind of end the, the audience there. So we just, we were like, oh, what are the options? What are the options? And we saw America. That seemed like a good option, and we came here. Wow. Where was y'all's first show in America? It was in Harlingen. Harlingen in Texas. Okay. It sucked. (laughs) Nobody show up. (laughs) Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, nobody show up. We had shows. Like, 2019 was hard for us. We had shows for 10 people. We once started a show for three people. Three. So we... Backstage, when we were doing the live show, we were... Don't worry, it's like Harlingen. Just do it like in Harlingen, right? right. Because we had serial audience 2019. What? And now, in 2000, as soon as 2020 start, we start getting audience, full, full, uh, crowd. crowds. Yeah. And oh, it was amazing. Man. You know, we, we thought, we got this, we got this. The, uh, we are getting uh, the, the flavor of, of the country, right? Oh. And then the current thing happened. Dang it. Yeah. So where had you gone before? Where were you guys before you got here? To Roswell? Yeah. Odessa, right? Yeah, Odessa, okay. Texas. Yeah, we did a lot of towns in Texas, just in Texas. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. It's right there by Mexico, and then plus it's a pretty big state. Yeah, so exactly. So you get a lot of attraction there. Nah, and then you just, you guys came here, and y'all have been stuck here. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I'm really grateful that we got stuck here. The Why town, the town has been nothing but amazing to us. Okay. Nothing but amazing. Everyone, everyone that I speak to and I say that I'm from the circus, treat us amazing. Okay. Or they are interested uh, in talking with us, you know? Okay. Um, mm-hmm. I'm really grateful that we got the stock here. It is crazy. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Everybody I tell we did the circus, they're like, they had a circus? And I showed the video <laughs> and they're like, oh, I got to watch it when I get home. And then yeah. I've been watching it ever since. Yeah, I'm so, really amazed that uh, I really thought that we were going to do bad in the live show. I thought we were going to get watched by 
a hundred people or two hundred people. Uh, you yeah. were by fifty thousand people. Yeah, you were watched by a lot of people. <laughs> and man. that's really uh, I'm I'm amazed by that. Like I'm I'm. You guys of... did so good, man. I can't <laughs> I can't tell y'all enough. Y'all yeah. killed it out there. I got friends from uh, Costa Rica, from Panama, from England that watch the show. Wow. And oh, I was. Dang, that's yeah. so crazy. Yeah, you got homies in England? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, that's so sad. How'd you, meet, how'd you uh, meet a guy from England? Oh, no, some girls from England. Oh. Okay. Yeah, like some of the dancers, they come from England, so we go to friends with them. Oh, okay. They go back. Yeah. Makes sense. That's, so that's what's crazy. Now, you guys, y'all were being watched by everybody, but it is crazy because we I did have a lot of people that were like, I didn't even know this was happening. Yeah. That part, I feel like we could have worked on a little better. Yeah, is me the too. advertisement. Me too. It was on like short notice. Yeah, we had maybe yeah, two bit. weeks to like. You guys are gonna be on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they gave us one practice run, and we're like, "Oh crap!" Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Know. I thought the the show was going to be filmed with an iPhone, and somebody was going to be there <laughs> oh, my. shaking. That would. Yeah, it's horrible. looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, no, I that would have been horrible. But yeah, but I don't know if we would have showed up for that one. <laughs> We you, might have had a pass on that you one. You've seen the news network show with two big old <laughs> iPhones, fifteen thousand pads. <laughs> Those things are huge, huh? Nah, they did a good job, man. They they were able to capture pretty much every small detail from yeah. your guys' stuff. Uh, we were able to commentate on something that, for him, it was like, well, I guess it was the second time watching it because we got yeah, the practice. I only watched yeah. it once, pretty much. But to do something like like we we stepped in territory that. I mean, you guys never have commentating. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? No yeah, one's yeah, ever, yeah. like, yeah. getting the reactions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, like, you guys have never... Because usually a circus is, uh, I guess, in a sense, secretive. Mm-hmm. Because you don't ever... You don't ever... Um, you don't stream your stuff. All right, yeah. So for people to watch it, like, online, it's different. You yeah. know? It's like, it's out there now, and people are able to to watch it at their their leisure and it was like man we're doing something that and you guys are doing yeah. more of anything you are putting on a show like nobody's ever at least i've never seen yeah. it yeah me neither like i i used to watch like uh there is this famous uh festival of circus like just the top of the top go there it's monte carlo and i used to watch it on youtube and that that used to look amazing you know the cameras the like the princess from monaco they go to that show Oh really? Yeah, and wow. they have amazing cameras and everything looked perfect and the lights and and I was like, wow, that's a show. And then when I saw a show, I was like, we were pretty close. We were pretty close. <laughs> I don't <laughs> doubt pretty it. Pretty good, man. Dude, you guys are so. How can I put it? Y'all are like professional athletes. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how I yeah. would put it. That's how I want to see myself. Yeah. That I, that's how I see. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because a lot a lot of people were commenting like, "Hey, I can't I can't do that." And there's some dudes I know that are athletic as hell, and they're like, "I can't do it." Just do I can't balance on my head and yeah. spin with no harness. Like, mm-hmm. People that I know that are pretty athletic, they're like, "I can't do that." Yeah. yeah, man, you guys are literally professional athletes. It's just you do something different than a lot of people do. Yeah, you know, people don't fly in the middle of the air and walk. Cross balance beam with somebody on their shoulders, or, <laughs> or get, ride motorcycles. Or get spun by a ribbon like yeah. fucking twenty. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that chick, man, she's got to have some strong ankles and wrists, cause the way she was spinning. Yeah. I'm like, oh man, dislocation. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah we put we put our work on it, you know. We practice at least from four or five hours a day. I was gonna ask. How, was gonna how, ask too. how often do you practice? Like every day. I, at least my performance, I do practice it every day. Damn. When we are performing, I can do it on Saturdays or on Sundays because we have more shows, so I get tired. But I try to fi- to practice at least five times uh, a week. Okay. At least an hour thirty or two hours of practicing. Then we do some exercises, uh, and then I practice the trumpet. You know, so we uh, combining everything is about five hours of practice a day. Damn man. But see, that's dedication. That's yeah. that's putting in a lot of hard work to perform for a lot of people. Yeah. Do you put extra time in now that the corona came up and everything? You can't yeah. Really do it. You just, yeah. You do I, I've more. been practicing. That's all the thing I have been doing. Nice. Besides the school, I've been practicing. Oh, school? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you go to school too? Yeah, I go in online classes and stuff. Okay. But besides that, I've been just practicing, practicing, practicing. That's oh, all yeah. I have been doing. That's just 
I mean, Man, when this man is a student athlete, basically, bro. Yeah, when you're <laughs> stuck there, it's like you might as well take advantage of that time. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Like try to. You have to look the bright side, you know. Mm, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is. It's very little, but you have to catch it. <laughs> hey, at least you're doing it. That's why I'm like, you guys are probably gonna be here for a while. A yeah. A bit longer. You wanna be homies now. Yeah, we're all homies. Here. Yeah, <laughs> we're all. I thought you said homeless. Oh, I thought you said, uh, I thought you said homeless. Bro, I, I wish you know. No, I was like, you can't stay at the pad, dog. I can put the, the tent in the backyard and we'll get it going, man. For real. I got a pretty big backyard. You can fit that tent back there. I don't know about all that. That's a big ass tent. But yeah, you got a big backyard. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something out. No, yeah, dude. That's what I'm thinking is I want to do it again. Yeah. I want to cool. do it again, it but cool. I know this time, you guys thought it kicked ass last time. I ain't, I'll i talk us up. I think it's going to be badass this next time. Yeah. You I talked so about too. that that other people that put on the show that looked yeah. super cool. I yeah. think we could do that if we were given <laughs> more time. Yeah. If yeah. we get, like, if, if, I don't want to say it, but if we gave it, like, a couple months, I feel like we could perfect it. Yeah. Because a couple weeks, we did pretty damn good. Yeah. 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 Me too. We I did. think we did, we did good for the little time that we did it. Yeah, because, see, there's people that have lighting. There's people that have, you know, just everything that it takes to yeah. put on a really, really... And not saying we didn't, but it's just we could do better. Yeah, people uh, yeah, people didn't want to help because it was short notice and stuff like that. So if we gave them a little bit more time, I think yeah. we could have done some cool crazy though. shit. Yeah, hopefully. So I'm curious to... Okay, before this circus, I always thought of a circus with, like, animals. Mm-hmm. What is it? Is there circuses that still do the animal thing? And why is it that you guys don't do circuses with what? Like animals? Uh, I think there are still circuses that perform with animals. Uh-huh. Uh, but then uh, about... That's why we went to South America. I remember now. Uh, there, there, this law come in Mexico, came in Mexico that we can use uh, animals in our performance anymore. Oh, okay. Right? So they took us out, which was a, which which was a shame because I saw uh, how we treat them, you know, like uh, I was part of that, you know. Oh. I remember I remember watching my father uh, sleeping in the tent uh, if an animal was sick with them. My father was with them the whole time. I was jealous of the fucking animals. <laughs> 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 what, what animal pissed you off the most? <laughs> which one was he closest to? You? I think to a tiger. Oh, I mean, yeah. can you blame him? He had the, the tiger. Mexi- <laughs> the Mexican Tiger King? <laughs> <laughs> I think he had a tiger, like, from for 15 years. The, wow. the, the tiger died from old. Okay. And when that tiger died, my father has this uh, kind of plain face. Okay. You don't never know if he's angry or sad or happy. He just like this. It's this oh, motherfucker right here. Yeah, it's this <laughs> motherfucker right here. You don't hey, ever know. Poker you, face. You don't ever know if he's sad, yeah. bad, yeah. or sad, or anything. Yeah, my father has that poker face. That's good. And when <laughs> and when that, that animal passed away, I I could see like just a you little, know, the bit. little uh, you know, for a for a, a, a little while. Oh man. So when when they took us away, uh, it was a really shame. Oh. Like I saw my father down for a couple of months. Wow. Yeah. Damn. But like, but we have to keep moving. We just had to practice more. <laughs> right. So you guys did have animals? Yeah. And then they, they decided to take them out of Mexico. Yeah. They are like, you can't do this no more. Mm-hmm. So here in America, you're allowed to do that again? Yeah. Yeah, but I think we uh, we can do a nice show without animals. Okay. We can do a nice performance without animals. So I don't think we need them. Okay. Oh, okay. You know? And that's fair. Like, I don't know. I'm not saying you guys, but I don't know how it would be yeah. for like a tiger and stuff yeah. to travel all the time, yeah. you know? That yeah, kind of exactly. seems rough. Oh, what if yeah. a tiger was stuck here for this whole pandemic? Yeah, imagine that. I mean, I'm sure the zoo would maybe We will be, be already a... homeless. Oh, they eat a lot? Huh? They eat a lot. Wow. They, the tiger eat before me. You know, the oh, animals yeah. eat before me. No, I guess We will be already homeless. <laughs> so, so y'all got rid of the animals. How yeah. hard was it to like transition without the animals to y'all's performance? It was hard because we, we were getting lazy. You know? <laughs> we were like, we You're like this, the animals yeah, the show. The show, the other side of the, the show. So we were getting lazy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we just had to practice harder. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, though, because like you said, some people, I guess it depends on the animals, but when you have animals, it's like, it don't matter whether it's a little cub tiger or mm-hmm. a big ass tiger, people are be like, oh, damn. Yeah, and it doesn't animal. matter if it does something. 
just to watch that beautiful animal in front of you. See, that's where yeah, I would. You can okay. top that. <laughs> Whenever you had animals, was there like a cage around the ring? Yeah. Okay. Because I was like, <laughs> if there wasn't, you know, I don't want to be um, exposed to possibly yeah. being attacked. I know. They said we had to sign a liability. I never signed a liability for About the what? circus. <laughs> the first day we were there, they were like, y'all got to sign a liability. I, like, I never signed a liability on that. No, I, don't, I didn't sign anything. The worst thing that a tiger, <laughs> tiger could do to you in the show was pee on you. Pee? Yeah. I, I got pee on off, multiple off camera, times. He was telling us the show would end if the elephant didn't want to move. So, oh, he was did like, y'all have an elephant? No, I, we didn't have an animal. That's an story that I had. Oh, no, that would be tough if the elephant didn't want to move. Yeah, yeah, the uh, the show would be over. He's the boss. I mean, he's the boss. People are so entertained, easily entertained. They probably would have just watched the elephant sit there <laughs> yeah. for an hour. Yeah, you would have had yeah. peanut skin thrown at it and get, eating peanuts. Yeah. Good. Oof, that, it's just crazy to watch those animals. Like, I, I read the other day that there are more animals here in America that are live free, you know? What do you mean? Which is crazy. There's more live animals? like. Free? There are more animals here in America in, in cages, like oh, with okay. people, yeah, yeah. that free in, in their places, like India or wherever they live. People, people oh. own more tigers in, yeah. in America than they do in the See, but I thought yeah. that was illegal now. Because wasn't that like the uh, kind of disclaimer in the tiger king series where it was like no longer you can no longer be purchasing tigers because of the fact that yeah they're easier when they're babies to take care of but once they grow it's just too much for people to handle so then they're having to put them in the those type of sanctuaries that they gave like the tiger king and stuff Mm -hmm. you gotta think Early 1800 or 1980s, they were buying tigers, fucking up the ass, white tigers for Vegas and shit mm-hmm. like that. So, I mean, people probably still had them even after the fact that yeah. it was illegal. I don't know. I mean... The, 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 the weird part is that if you put those animals in freedom, they wouldn't be able to survive. N- the caged animals. Yeah. Okay, because yeah, they, you're right. they grew up there. You feed them. Yeah, you know? they're used to being they, pampered. Yeah, yeah they, they can survive in the whiteness. See, but I always think of, like, animals... Like, like a tiger roams, I don't know how much land in a day, mm-hmm. you know, and to be cooped up all the time, it doesn't seem. Yeah, yeah. Like it doesn't even, seem fair. It doesn't. Like, I like, the thought of SeaWorld is there, but then the fact of SeaWorld is just like, ah, Yeah, man, it's the like, same thing. Yeah, I think just times are changing. People are being more aware of mm-hmm. what they are doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Like, I would prefer, uh, like, a safari. You know, where yeah. they have, like, a lot of land to roam. Yeah, They're not okay. in a cage. I feel you. you like, know? here to read those, it should be, like, a big-ass fucking Yeah, safari. like, if I could yeah. go for a safari, even if you charge me, you know, 50 to to $100, yeah. I'd prefer to put that money towards animals that I know that are free-roaming. Yeah. Be- $100? There's one in California. That's pretty God. cheap. Damn. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was going to say. That's cheap because in uh, in California, yeah, there's a safari that it costs like $1,500 to go. But you're going to see like rhinos, giraffes, zebras. Are you taking your own car? No, they got oh, you in like okay. this Jeep thing. But oh, it, I think it's like, fun. I think it's $1,500. Total dollars. Civic? It might even no, be a little totally. less than that. But I want to say it was something like that. And it's only for like... An hour and a half or two hours. Hey, that's pretty close. That's cool. So. But well, have you seen the video of the, this guy in a safari? And the guy is in the safari and, and a tiger come close to the door of the car. Uh-huh. And he bites the handle of the door. Nice. And he opens the door. No. Have you seen it? No, no I haven't yeah. seen yeah, it. I'll look it up. When we finish, I'll look it up. <laughs> <laughs> the tigers open the fucking door. I've <laughs> seen like bears. Bears have like a tendency to open car doors and shit. But. Well, bears... I feel like they smell food anywhere. Yeah, that's that's why they say, like, when you go camping, not to have your food I'm nearby. I'm sorry, let me, let me put oh, this. Okay. Uh, they say not to have your food nearby because they, they have a sense of smell like no other. So mm-hmm. then, you know, they can come and rummage through your shit. Yeah, you're that or a nasty-ass raccoon. Well, at least a raccoon, I can kind of defend myself. I might get rabies, but I won't probably going to die right then and there. A bear. <laughs> oh, no, I bet a raccoon can kill you. <laughs> yeah, for, oh god. No. <laughs> You're more scared of a raccoon yeah. than a bear? Yeah. I'm, I, feel, I, don't I know. feel like I am too, though. Like, I feel like uh, if you kind of stay calm with a bear, you're good. Bear's not going to just fucking get your ass for to get your ass. 
I Raccoons know, are better. savage. That's like a squirrel. A squirrel does is gonna fuck you up just to fuck you up. I've never seen a squirrel fuck anybody up. Yeah, but they could if they really. <laughs> I'm more they afraid could. of monkeys. <laughs> oh god, I'll monkeys are them. scary. Yeah, wow. monkeys are scary. I'll serve them any, any any animal, uh, as soon as they think you are afraid, as soon as they feel it, you are dead. It doesn't matter which animal is. That's true. I think animals do have a very good sense yeah. of fear. Yeah. They're gonna fucking get they my just ass. Mellis. I'm gonna be scared of mom like. <laughs> that is weird, huh? The animals I hate, are. I hate yeah. being around animals. That kind of like, way. have you seen in Mexico a couple of days ago? Uh, they they come out with a video of two girls hiking, and then a black bear showed up in the in the uh, in the land. Really? Yeah, and the girl just stayed there. The girl uh, didn't move, and the bear came close and started to smell her, and she, he even got into in legs, like in his shoulders, close together and smell her, and the guy the girl was so calm. That she took her phone out. She took her phone out and she took a selfie. Oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh, that's savage. Yeah, and he was, she was so calm that the bear was like, eh, and he left. There's no way on that. Well, mm-hmm. I guess in that moment you have to. Be, I don't know if I'd be able to pull my phone out, but <laughs> no, I, I think I would be so. just. Yeah, I'd just be so <laughs> stiff, like, oh shit, this yeah. sucks right now. I would have just depend how big it looks. To and you. the like, bears are huge. I was gonna they say, bro, so even big. a baby bear. Yeah, is they like are huge. huge. Can you play dead? And they would just be like, oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to play dead. I'd just stand there and hopefully yeah. they smell. Like, me imagine watching a grizzly bear. In front of you. Oh, where is it? It's in like um, damn. Where is this place? I can't even tell you right now. I know there's a popular area where there's a lot of grizzly bears. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, it's in I the, have it here. In the springtime when they wake up from mm-hmm. hibernation and shit, yeah. like they the the salmon are running. They're they're flowing upstream to to whatever the fuck. Well, anyways, it's <laughs> overpopulated with salmon. Yeah. So <laughs> these people go and fish, and they're fishing, and they'll just be chilling there, and these grizzlies are just everywhere, oh. just getting yeah, they salmon. Yeah, they're doing their thing. They're doing their thing, yeah. and there's they don't even care. Where who is it, like Vancouver? Uh, maybe. Yellowstone? Maybe. It might be. Is yeah. there Yellowstone? Well, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I just I know. know it's somewhere like in the mountains where like salmon start running upstream. That's it has to do. be Yellowstone, like Yogi maybe, and stuff. Maybe. Yeah. And it, I'm oh. telling you, you could just go and fish and they're fishing for salmon. They're fishing for salmon and you just enjoy <laughs> yeah. each other's company. That's probably Yosemite. Yosemite? It probably is. Shout out to Trump. Can't say Shout Yosemite. Shout out, Mom. <laughs> Trump can't say Yosemite, yeah, I what guess. What did he say? Yosemite. Yos- Yos- Yosemite. 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 <laughs> Whatever. No, nah, man, it, it would be cool to see animals in the circus, but I think I think I appreciated more seeing like another person do things that I don't think a lot of people can do. Yeah. Like you guys were doing stuff even down to just the clowns. Like I think people underplay the clowns cuz in order to be a clown, I think you really have to um how can I put this in a way that it's not degrading, but it's more like you have to put yourself in like an embarrassing situation. Yeah. You have to have a hard fucking like, uh, what's it called? Like almost thick skin. That's what I was thinking. Oh, like yeah. you have to, you have to make yourself look super silly. Yeah. And some people have too much ego. Yeah. And stuff that they're. <laughs> that just, was me. That was you. Yeah. And I feel like it takes a lot of courage to go a, out there and be a clown. It's the thing that I was person. telling you the other day. Mm-hmm. Without a clown, you don't have a circus. Without a good clown, you don't have a show. It don't matter what you have in the show. It yeah. don't matter if you have a, an elephant with three eyes that speak French. If you don't have... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, about that. <laughs> I don't know man. <laughs> that could be the clown. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have a clown, it don't matter. Well, I mean, that's true. I just think, like, it takes, it takes like, strength. You have to have strength. You have to have balance. You have to have courage. You have to have thick skin you yeah. it's all these attributes that you guys put together this like amazing show yeah I, I remember one time when uh the clown that we had uh when we were all kind of young uh he left i don't know why uh he left the circus uh so my cousins were like we have to step in right mm-hmm. so it was my brother the clown that has the the crazy hair the the real big one yeah, like yeah. the blondie hair yeah, no, yeah. the one that goes with the saxophone at the end. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was my brother, a cousin that does the high wire. You know the one with the high wire? Mm-hmm. The big one, mm-hmm. that one. And another cousin of mine that does the trapeze. 
they were like, okay, we're going to step in. And, we, and they do their little routine. And we were, they were like, okay, this is fun. This is fun. We are funny. And they went into the show. For, I, I, it was depressing to watch that. Nobody <laughs> was laughing. Nobody was laughing. Oh. It was tough. And they, they pulled out. They didn't want to do that anymore. <laughs> they didn't want to be in that situation anymore. Oh, My brother was the only yeah. one that kind of stayed there. But the other two, they were like, no, I'm out. I'm out. Dang. Yeah. Damn, that's tough. But that's what I mean is you you literally have to be able to make fun of yourself. Basically. Like, yeah. you really have to just say, fuck it. I'll be like a little pest out there and just be cool with it. You know what I mean? Because not everybody's going to like the clown. But exactly. a lot of people are going to laugh or be mad at the clown. That's like. the hard part because... I, when you are a clown and this for me it don't matter how much people are laughing you are always looking at the guy that isn't laughing right mm. in the backstage was like, when we're in the clown we are like we have to make that guy laugh right we are always catching the guy that is not laughing sometimes we don't do it but some, when we achieve that it's like hey yeah you did a good job yeah. Yeah. no that makes sense when you can make the most hardcore guy laugh yeah. that's when you know you succeeded I know that I have seen a good clown. I kind of laugh at the clowns, but I know I have seen a good clown when my dad laughs at the clown. When uh, he, and he doesn't even laugh. He just is like, <laughs> right? When he does that, I'm like, mm, he's kind of good. Oh, <laughs> man, that's so funny. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, like I said, to be a clown, it's got to be tough. But to yeah. do any of the things that you guys do, it's tough. Even down to the dancers, it's a yeah. lot of tough. Yeah, because they, they're all synchronized. And they got to go back there and change as fast yeah, as they exactly. can. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Even the, the guy with the microphone. Is he changing? Yeah, he's changing, but the voice. I'm talking about the voice. Oh, yeah. Not he's... everyone had a voice. No, oh, not everybody. Oh, I said yeah. that first day we, we were out there, he was saying, I was like, he has a good voice for oh, this. He mm-hmm. has an amazing voice. Mm-hmm. No, that's... Everything seems so good, though. Like, it's just like y'all mesh well, mm. you know? Because, like I said, there wasn't a moment there where I feel like anyone could not like the show. Mm. Like, it starts off real, like, almost simple. Not I wouldn't say not simple for me, but, like, it's slower. Yeah. And then it just, the climax of the show, it just escalates. And then it's like, damn. Yeah. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Yeah, I was, I was pretty pooped after that. I was like, man, this was a lot. Because when y'all did the four bikes, I was uh, I was pretty shocked, yeah. man. That I was actually really a special shocked. one from for the for the live show, because they didn't do it when you when when Mm-mm. we practiced the show, right? Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. So when we heard the we heard and we seen, I think all three of us turned around and we were like, four bikes, <laughs> and we we're like, nah, y'all are kidding. And then, y'all barely fit in there. Yeah. So for y'all to do four bikes, I was I was scared. Yeah. I would love for my brother to to do that with uh, audience because my brother was the fourth uh, guy. He's sixteen, mm-hmm. and he doesn't really want to be in, in like in the stage, right? He's not aiming for it. He likes it, but he's not aiming for it. Mm-hmm. But I would love to him to feel the audience when you get down. So that was his first time doing anything. Yeah. What? No, was it? No, he did another thing. I don't remember right now, but he was on a stage. Oh, he used to do the globe. Yeah, oh, okay. but when he was like eight or ten, uh, right? Okay. So I want him to get that drive again. Uh, okay. So if he uh, have gone down from four bikes in the glow and with a full crowd, wow, I that's what he needs, you know? <sighs> that's what I'm saying is without fans, it's different, man. Yeah. It's so different because I feel like you feed off of them. You want to do something more. You want to try harder. Yeah. You want to, and yeah. it, without a crowd, it's like... It's tough, I could imagine, for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, you are thinking all the time. When, with the crowd, at least myself, I let myself go. Like, my body knows what to do. I just enjoy it. But without the crowd, I'm thinking, okay, this is next. You have to put your body this way. You have to stretch. You have to do that. You have to do this, right? So I'm just killing myself in the head. So you're thinking more than actually just doing more. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are you ever nervous for the other people that are performing? Like, I can watch the high wire. You can't? No, my, my hands start to... Get sweaty? Yeah. I can watch either that one or the globe. Uh, the flying trapeze scared me a bit to, to watch it. I think I can do it, all of those things. Mm-hmm. I can do it myself. But to watch other people doing it, whew, 
<laughs> I get I get chilled. That's crazy. Because like that's the high wire. Know. They're not. They're not harnessed, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. That that's what's scary. I think they're the only because you strap on yeah. and then the other the girl that gets spun, she has like the wrist and ankle strap mm-hmm. thing. Um, or the balance guy, he doesn't get strapped. That one's sketch, oh, yeah. sketch. So, I think it, like that part. I think everybody just bites down on their teeth, and it's like, oh, oh yeah. like don't fall. Even yeah. when they're walking up on the tightrope on over the the, the yeah the, st- the stairs are the the seats. Uh-huh. That's a scare. Oh, oh my oh. god. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they do yeah. it. How do you like train for that? Like, do you go like yeah. f- floor level? Yeah, we just started practicing, and then you just keep going. Oh, up but you hit yourself a lot of times. A lot. I I used to practice that draw that one, but uh, my my other brother kind of doesn't want me to do it because of the knee. Uh-huh. He said that if the knee pops out, up there. You're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to practice it, and I I, I was starting to jump people, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know if he did it in the show, did he? No. Mm, jump rope? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Jumping someone. Someone was sitting on the rope and jumping someone. Oh, no, no, no. no. no? He did that. Damn. Oh. I Maybe he was tired. He, he can do that. <laughs> <laughs> he was lazy that I day. I don't know, man. He had me on my edge of my seat. So I was starting to do that. And if you open just a little bit your feet. Oh, you're good. Oof. Oh. Oof. You're screwed. Hey. Oof. It hurts. I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, that's yeah. tough. <laughs> Damn, jumping over somebody? Yeah. Man, I mean, yeah. I don't know, man. You got to have ballerina feet just to catch yourself on that. He bro. was lazy. He can't do that one. <laughs> he was lazy? <laughs> I don't know, man. I would have been tripping balls right there. What is the protocol to, like, fall? Do you fall, like, a certain way? or I can see if Well, you fall? can try. You, uh, my father tell me, at least in my trapeze, that is more control. Is like, in practice, let yourself fall. So you at least know what to do or where, where is your body going. But in the high wire, I think it's different mm-hmm. because the the rope is going to send you this way or that way or up, up way or backwards or frontwards, you know? Oh, you just okay. have to be like here. You have to be in the moment. Do to, you guys to ever the, practice? I know it sounds weird, but do you ever try to practice falls? Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> so you just try to practice like yeah. you'll actually fall? Yeah, at just... least myself, I try to let myself fall. Okay. Yeah. To know, I, I know what to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, I feel like it, even that you kind of got to practice. Yeah. Actually, uh, I was practicing uh, an, a new thing in my trapeze a few days ago. And since I don't know how to fall because I haven't fallen that many times, I was just doing it and I was starting to get uh, higher. Like, uh, no, no, three meters. That's like how many feet? Like nine. Nine feet or whatever. And I was scared of that height. So I kind of let myself go, and I kind of pull my uh, something on here just because I didn't know how to oh, fall, dang. right? I didn't know how to tie my body or where to hold myself. So you see, that's what's crazy. You have to practice that. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Because even yeah. that could, I mean, obviously they're professionals, but even professionals, you know, make mistakes. At least just to know, because at least what scares me is that I don't know what's going to happen. If mm-hmm. I fall, I don't know what's going to happen. Right. So I just want to know where where am I going or what, what you know? Yeah. yeah. Just to get a feel for it. Yeah. Huh. That's crazy. That's intense, man. The first act, I was just thinking about that with the little wheel that spins going around. Oh, yeah. That's just scary, too. Oh, and he puts the mask yeah. on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I forget about that. That's the first thing that yeah. happens. Yeah. That's Dude. the thing that hypes you, hypes you up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Because he's over there. Like, when he lets go... And then he tries to, like, land and, oh, my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> the first day when y'all were putting it up, I think this was the first day before we even did a show. I it was think like it was Monday. Monday or Tuesday, they were putting it up, and we were like, what is that doing? I was like, I'm pretty sure that shit spins. And, yeah, sure enough, yeah, was... you guys, like I said, you guys just crushed it and all around. I hope we can do it again. I think, did you guys end up? Raising enough money, what whatever you guys. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. But uh, to be honest, uh, I really didn't ever care how much money we raise. Mm-hmm. This show was a thank, a thank you to the town. Okay. And this show was a thank you to everybody that has helped us during the quarantine. You know, mm-hmm. I, I, I really don't care, and I think everyone in the circus don't really care if anyone uh, support us with money. 
Okay. This was a thank you. Like, it, the town has been amazing to us. I know that's this is going to be a weird request. Can you say that in Spanish for, like, if there's a Spanish speaker listening to you? Uh, estaba diciendo que el, el show que hicimos, me estaban preguntando sobre el, el dinero que recaudamos, si recaudamos lo suficiente. Y, y la verdad que no me importa cuánto recaudemos. El show fue, fue un gracias a la, a la ciudad de Roswell, que nos ha tratado muy bien en la cuarentena. Y fue un gracias a todas las personas que nos han ayudado. ¿Cuánto dinero recaudamos? No me importa. Hell yeah. That sounded so nice too. Like, hell yeah, that's cool. That's good. No, that's... Uh, I'm just glad that you guys were able to see Roswell in a different light. No, he's mm. going to have a special place in my yeah. Hell yeah. Because I would never ever talk down on Roswell. I think we are an awesome community. And I, I'm glad that in a time like this, when... You know, we're all coming together. We're even able to help those that weren't necessarily a part of it at the beginning, but now are a big part of it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? That yeah, just... when we were coming to Roswell, I was like, hell yeah, aliens. That's what I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, and there's no I... aliens, bro. <laughs> For, I'm sorry if you're watching this and you're not from Roswell, but there are no aliens. I mean, I mean, there's a few. <laughs> I don't know. I I've not seen any aliens. Man. I, had, I haven't seen no, nothing to put. It, I couldn't. I that. could not attest to that. I mean, <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. But I took a. I bet I think <laughs> I, you just got some really good green chili. <laughs> hey, I haven't true. even tried it. What? Everyone what? is talking about it, and I haven't tried that one. Oh, we're gonna have to take oh you gosh, out. We're gonna bro. have to take you and go get Anytime. some time. food, man. <laughs> For Anytime. real. Anytime. I'm a skinny. You. Nah, yeah. it's. Uh, well, we can't over it from BG. You gotta do your. <laughs> I know, man. You're, nah. you're gonna end up having Quarantine. to be a clown. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get you fat. You have to be the clown. It's the bulk up season. That's true. <laughs> that is true. It's bulking season. It's always bulking season for me. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, I mean, it is crazy, though. Yeah, Y'all been here for a long-ass time, dude. You guys have been here, and now it's like, y'all probably going to be here for a little while now. I think Longer. So. I but, think so. I mean, we just got to make the best of it. You know, I don't think it's fair that y'all are just stuck there. We got to somehow get y'all out and about. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you know? yeah we'll, fi we'll figure it out. Because... I think it's important that everybody at least socialize in some kind of way. Yeah. You know, because y'all guys are out there constantly. Yeah, know, yeah. All day long. Yeah, I was telling you the other night, like, yeah. it's weird. Like, I'm used to talking to people in the show, in the audience, and, like, uh, meeting people. And, like, for not doing that for five months, just talking to my cousins and my family, mm -hmm. it, was clo it was weird, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's got to be weird, man. It's got to be different because... It's one thing, that's what I was trying to explain on Monday's podcast was like, for everyone that's been quarantined, at the very least, you, you, you have family around or you have things or whatever, and you guys have been out there for five, six months now just isolated, yeah. you know? So to be able to perform for everybody and stuff, it, it, I'm sure it at least felt somewhat normal for a little while. Yeah, yeah, it was really sweet to put my costume, my costume on. Did it still oh, fit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it fit good. I, you know, I feel like a superhero. <laughs> yeah. I put it in and I was like, hey, yeah, look at me, my seven in the mirror. Uh-huh. I was like, you know. There you go, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what's up. No, I, I can probably talk for everybody, but man, I think everybody enjoyed that show. I did. It, it, it was. I definitely did. Thank it you was so good. awesome, man. I'm so glad that we were able to, one, work with you guys, and then, two, meet everybody. Yeah. So that was super fun, man. Hopefully yeah. we can do it again. If you rewatch our video, you see I stand up at the very end and give you a round of applause. Standing oh, really? Up. Yeah, y'all killed it, bro. It was my first circus, dog, so I was <laughs> kind of hyped. Yeah. Didn't I'm glad that, that for your first circus, you, you could have a CEOs, you know, and you have a yeah. nice... Uh, Experience. From experience from uh, your first circus. Hell yeah, man. Do you guys that. compete with other circuses? Not officially, but we kind of do. You know? Okay. Yeah, when we go, when go, we, we, sorry. When we go and watch uh, other other shows, uh -huh. we, uh, and a guy does the same thing that you do, uh -huh. it's like a little, a little, yeah, but it, it's not official, just... It's like, I want to be yeah. better than Yeah, you. yeah. Okay. You both know that he's on. No, I yeah. know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Hey, man, shit, whatever gets you motivated. Yeah. We, should do, we should do a circus off. 
<laughs> oh, another circus wow. and go head to head. I don't know another circus. We, I mean, we could find one. <laughs> They're not doing anything right now, obviously. The That's cor- true. Corona, we could so another circus. We could oh, make a, get another so circus fun. against their circus. <laughs> that'd be fucking lit. Yeah. That'd be like our podcast against another podcast. Your podcast against Joe Rogan. Well, that's not Let's fair. Go. <laughs> He's gonna win. Uh, I'll take a, I'll take our, our, our chances. I'll take the chances, but man, that's competition right there, man. As long as we get to, uh, the same guests, then we'll see. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. If we get the same amount of guests and same people, everything, I, I would think, be. I think. I think we, we could beat them. I think we could. That'd be a challenge. <laughs> Joe Rogan, you hear that? You we want to challenge you. I'm gonna clip Best this podcast. And tag <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so if we were. To do it again, would you guys? I don't want you to tell me what you would do, but would you try to change it up? We would try to, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, actually, my brother does a really a pretty sweet uh, slag wire. I don't know if you heard of that one. Yeah, it's almost like the balancing thing, right? But <sighs> except it's like you can kind of do more tricks because it's more like elastic. It's not the sla- it's elastic. Uh, elastic. It's still a cable, but it's not tight. It's just there. Right, and he can kind of do like flips and stuff, yeah, kind of. Like and it's not all the way up there, no. right? It's like a little yeah, off the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. He does that. Fire. We could do the flying trapeze. We didn't do the flying trapeze. Well, we got Sarah for that. Yeah. And then, what'd you say? They need to implement fire. Fire? Mas fuego. Like, <laughs> fire. <Dang. laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, could, I'm sure we the, could. The guy it. from the highway could jump on like a, a ring of fire. Sure, let's go. I mean, <laughs> y'all just gotta start practicing. <laughs> we all start practicing. We'll get our stuff together and we'll figure another show we'll out. We'll give you a fire suit and then you start balancing with the fire suit on. We'll put you all the this way. This guy wanna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a badass show. <laughs> He's trying to up it so hard. That would be intense on anything in, on fire. Nah, that shit's too much. Uh, if you got like started getting hurt, bro, I'll help you out. Bro. I'll take a shot off my back <laughs> and get you, bro. Hell good. No. I'm down. I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to figure out something. Also, that way, like now that we know things, like I think that would help perform, or help them perform. Like we'll be able to interact with you yeah, guys. Yeah, I, I think that was the one thing that we slacked on. Mm-hmm. Like we should have been able to. We should have met you guys before the show. Yeah. I think that should have been something that we did. But that wasn't really our call either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was just weird because you guys were kind of working as well. Mm-hmm. You know, you were doing your thing. You weren't just as an audience there. Mm-hmm. Because if you were just a, as an audience, just, we kind of could have uh, grabbed you a little better into the show, mm-hmm. you know? But you were, like, doing your thing as well, so. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been... It would have been different, though, I think, if we could do things a little different this time. Like, there's so much more we could have we left on the table. But maybe that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. You know, when you leave a little bit of meat on the bone, it gives you yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. for later. So, well, man, we appreciate you coming in today and talking about everything. No, I, I mean, mean, I appreciate you that you invited me. Of I, course. I was, I was getting ready now. Nice hair. Hey, you know, hear that, like, ladies? Yeah, yeah. that, ladies? Yeah, that, ladies. I thought I was like, no, I feel like I was like, oh, I'm going into the Joe Rogan experience. That's what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is as close as you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> For now, until yeah. we now, you on with Joe Rogan. <laughs> until we got Joe Rogan on here, and then they'll be like, yeah, now we're really getting it. No, man, we do appreciate not just you coming in today, but like I said, again, round of applause. Like, you guys kicked ass the other night. I mean, psh- I won't forget it. No. That's, Thank you. That's Thank for you. sure. It. I mean, that's a memory going to be embedded in my mind for the rest of my life. And I'm so flattered. Awesome. Thank you. It, and I'm so I'm thankful. I'm humble. But more so, I think I'm excited because I think we could do it again. Yeah. And yeah, I think we could. I, I, I think if we do it again, I think this time it will be so much better from just everything. Just yeah. everything. So. Yeah. We'll definitely look forward to that. We'll work out some kinks. We'll talk to some people, see if maybe Enrique and Sarah and them want to try again here in the sure. next couple months you got or anything so. to tell the people before you leave? Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the show. And thank you for treating us so well. And also, don't forget to put in uh, subtitles every time I speak <laughs> so people can understand. <laughs> okay, Chris, you got that? 
subtitles. We'll just put. No, I think you could Spanish. pre. I th- <laughs> no, I think you could preemptively put it in the settings. Yeah. So before we post, you just put subtitles, and it'll automatically do the subtitles. It sure. might be a little broken. <laughs> so, so bear with us, guys. You're gonna need some time. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it was that bad either. We'll listen to it later. But I think you'll be all right, man. Yeah, you'll be good. All you'll right. be good. Everybody out there watching, again, if you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, then like the video, share the video, comment on the video. Tell us uh, what part was your favorite part in the comment section of the entire circus or this podcast. So, uh, again, I want to just shout out uh, Clear House. Uh, fuck. I'm over here messing up, man. Clearhouse Sports Team, thank you again for the sponsorship. Hey, again, shout out. you guys go uh, go hook link up with them. You get a five dollar discount. Mention the Beard Bros. We'll be tagging them on our Instagram pages. You guys go like their Instagram. Um, you guys can go also back to Facebook and watch the circus. Put it on. We're commentating the entire time for these guys. Uh, they killed it. So you guys can go watch that a hundred times if you want. Mm-hmm. So again, till next time with the Beard Bros. Later, guys. Thank you. Oh. All right, let's go outside. Because it is hot. It's fucking hot in here. I don't know if it'll be hot outside. If it is that bad in my car, it was like 90.